It's roasting hot outside. I thought this would be a safe place to come and run around, but nowhere's safe. And nowhere's safe. Where you go? He likes the noise. Now that he's heard the noise that the uh, the wood makes when he runs up and down it, he, he can't stop. Good boy. We're inside a Roman Catholic church, but up there I can see some kind of Star of David. Another one over there. Well, that was a beautiful church we visited, or cathedral. And in this part of Spain, a lot of the churches look like mosques, and would have been mosques at, at one point. And there's always a sense in this part of Spain, that they haven't forgot their Muslim past, the uh, 800 years uh, where this part of the country was under Muslim rule. Andalusia was called Al Andalus, which comes from the Vandals, actually, the Gothic European civilization. And yeah, for a few centuries, there was Muslim rule here. And it was quite a multi-cultural, multi-ethnic part of the world. There's still a huge Muslim presence here. I think we're about to go past a uh, Palestinian restaurant. Yeah, we must be in the Arab quarter here, because there's a Palestinian restaurant there. This is a Syrian restaurant, Palmyra, Damasco. Yeah, this is the uh, Edgeway Road of Granada. Restaurant Palestina. I've never seen so many Palestinian restaurants. And I've been to Palestine. Palestinian restaurant, Syrian restaurant, and last but not least, Lebanese. Gastronomia Lebanese, so Lebanese and Syrian. So different. There it is, Feyrouz. Send this video to your friend Feyrouz. If you've got a friend called Feyrouz. Okay, we're heading further east now. We've had Palestinian, Syrian, Lebanese, and now Iraqi restaurant. Rinko di Baghdad. I'm on the lookout for a Yemeni restaurant. Might be too good to be true. There's another one, Terra de Baghdad, Iraqi. And what's this? That's the last of the Arab restaurants. We're now back to normality. Café Bar Casa de Todos. There's nothing much Arab about that. Mm -hmm. 